right. uh, I'm Bo Simonson with Blackfire. And how many people here have used Blackfire? Wow, a decent number of you. Awesome. OK, so for you and the rest of you who will learn about this for the first time, we're going to talk a little bit about the benefits of Blackfire and then how you can put it to use uh, with Laravel pretty easily. From a high level, uh, people understand that performance is very important for applications, especially if you're doing something like e-commerce. How many people are doing e-commerce? OK. Cool. All right. So for e-commerce people, you know, if you know these sorts of stats, these are very important things that you need to do because if you're doing larger e-commerce sites, uh, the, the more uh, time it takes to actually render the page, uh, the more chance you are of losing revenue. Another thing that some people sometimes uh, don't really remember is that performance is very important uh, because it's, it could be considered a bug. And bugs get more expensive the closer they get to the user. So if you start fixing performance issues early on in the application development cycle, it's actually going to be a lot cheaper than if you have to wait until customers are actually pounding on your website and nobody's able to get through. How Blackfire can help is it allows you to <clears throat> it allows you to measure the uh, resources that your application are, is using so that you can optimize it. Because if you are not able to actually see where the resources are consumed, it's going to be difficult trying to make those go faster. And those resources that we can uh, monitor are time, memory consumption, and network traffic. And in order to show you how this would actually work within a Laravel application, we're going to take a look at configuring Homestead to use Blackfire. Uh, Blackfire is actually built into the, home, uh, the Homestead image. The first thing you need to do is sign up for a Blackfire account, and you will get the credentials that you need in order to uh, fire up Blackfire for the first time. Um, you can add these uh, configuration values to your Homestead YAML file, uh, reload the Vagrant box, and then you should be able to fire up your application like you would. So if this was a stock Laravel application, you'd see this. Otherwise, you'd see what you're actually building. If you use the Blackfire Chrome extension, it gives you the opportunity to select which environment that you want to profile. And here, we're, uh, we're going to choose the Blackfire environment. We're going to click Profile. And in behind the scenes, your, app, your browser is actually going to be making 10 requests to your application. And the profile that you're going to look at is actually going to be an average of those 10 requests. We do that to sort of normalize the requests in case you get some super long requests or some super short requests. When it's all done, it's going to give you some high-level stats across the top to let you know that the profile has been completed. And then you can actually jump into the call graph. Uh, the call graph is where you're going to spend most of the time in your application. Uh, depending on your application, you may see uh, a, a sizable call graph like we see here. Um, this is mostly due to uh, the, the, the major things taking the most amount of work being deep into the stack. So your application would, may look a, a lot simpler than this or make it look a little more complicated. The general idea is that the things that are highlighted are a path to the bottom where you're going to find the things that are the, the biggest pain points of your application. And those will be filled in boxes. And in this case, this represents the Composer autoloader, uh, which means that this application probably can't be optimized much more than it is right now. So if you, if you find yourself firing up Blackfire and you see Composer at the top, either Composer is misconfigured or your application is probably, or that particular page is going to be as fast as it can get. You can click into these various functions to get more details. Uh, you can actually break down the pieces that um, uh, all the different resources that that function consumed. So here we can see that there's actually some time consumed, memory consumed, and some IO time consumed. Uh, this feature, uh, or the features that are built into the free version of Blackfire include the overall time and the memory consumption. So we'll look at those two first. Uh, but you'll see, some additional, you'll see some additional dimensions here that are available uh, to the paid tiers of Blackfire. You can also click into the callers and the callees so that you can see the functions that call the function that you're looking at. If you look at the memory view, you'll notice that the function list uh, sometimes changes a little bit, uh, because now we're looking at the same sort of resource graph and the same sort of function list, except now we're looking at memory as being the important feature instead of some sort of time resource. 
If you pay for Blackfire Profiler uh, or Blackfire Premium, you also get access to um, CPU time versus I.O. time. So this lets you look at things that are taking a lot of time uh, waiting for I.O. to respond, either disks, uh, network queries, that sort of thing. Or if you're looking at things that are going to be highly CPU intensive, like string manipulation functions or loops or things like that. So if you start getting to the point where you're really trying to figure out where the time is going, you'll be, you'll be able to look even more detail at um, either IO weight or CPU. We also have another view that's relatively new. It's a flame graph view that shows you the functions over time. So rather than the call graph that we um, have been working with in the past, this lets you get an idea of what your application looks like over time. So you can start to see patterns within your application. You can start to see, uh, you can start to see the different parts of the application. You can see the, the framework boot up. You can see your domain code. And then you can see your uh, view layer code as well. Paid versions of Blackfire also has the ability to provide what we call recommendations. So we're able to look at the application itself and see what kind of things we're running within it. Um, and this gives you a good idea of uh, some low-hanging fruit that you can tackle to try to make your application better. We also have something called assertions, which are um, available on the premium and higher plans. And what this lets you do is define tests. So once you define the tests and the metrics that you're interested in, um, it's as simple as adding it to a Blackfire YAML file. So here we're saying that any page, uh, slash dot star, should make sure that it runs in less than 500 milliseconds. And if we go ahead and do another profile once that file is in place, uh, we're going to come back with the same sort of top bar, except now we see a green check mark. And the green check mark means that the test that we've defined that this page matched has passed. If we click on view call graph, or if we click on the, the green check mark, it'll take us straight to the assertions tab so you can see which assertions uh, have been successful or not. So unlike other profiling, uh, other profiling applications, Blackfire is intended to be used all throughout the, the life cycle of your application. Uh, some profilers are only used in production. Some are only used in development. Um, some are more geared toward uh, like continuous monitoring, uh, whereas Blackfire is just about creating a, an individual profile when a developer wants to see them. You can integrate this into your continuous in integration environments. Uh, this particular application I have hooked into Envoyer. Uh, as soon as Envoyer deploys the code, afterwards there's an after uh, hook that I've set up to automatically uh, profile the Laravel application. Uh, if you click on it, uh, what, a, what a build is in Blackfire is a collection of profiles that runs those tests. So if we expand one of these here, we're going to see that the test that we had set up uh, was that the pages should be fast enough, and all of the pages um, that it profiled as a part of the build were successful. Clicking on any one of the profiles will take you into the profile. So if a profile has failed or if a profile is close to uh, going over your thresholds, you'll be able to look in to try and figure out uh, what went wrong uh, during the course of that build. So uh, that's all there is for Blackfire. Uh, we have a booth out there uh, with all the rest of the vendors. If you want more information, you can come check it out. Uh, we can maybe do some demos or things like that. And I think we're also giving away uh, three profiler, Blackfire profiler subscriptions. So uh, ho hopefully the people that want to learn more about profiling will be the ones that get those. Thank you.